Hello and welcome guys. So today we have uh, a 2 versus 2 on the field of Isis and this is a classic map, um, relatively high rated player. Top player is uh, Montana with Lazy Avena, they have slightly more rating than the other team. So let's check a bit uh, the build order of Montana just uh, to make sure that when we play we do what he does <laughs> or something similar. Okay, I decided to go for 1, 2, 3, 4 maxes and uh, the first engineer is going close to the Hydra Okay, second engineer also Hydro, I see you on the Hydro Quindi everybody is building Hydro <laughs> The other engineer goes for Sahi Plane and the Max Then after the Hydro, straight on a land factory with the other engineer starts building the maxes or something on the back that he reclaim, manually reclaiming and then uh, he decides to move with the ACU while the other en engineers after one factory they will build uh, one pigeon and then build another factory and the ACU will start moving of course this map you want to go here where there is the reclaim as soon as possible so both ACU are moving and here uh, similar on the Montana slightly late because he finished building the factory rather than going just after the hydro. And actually Kiber King decided to go for an air factory second, so he won't have that many units with him at the beginning. And um, okay, so he starts uh, reclaiming the mess uh, faster. Starting from his opponent side a bit. There are two big uh, bunch of maxes. There are two racks. Here we start seeing artillery. That, uh, it's quite annoying because uh, when you are reclaiming and you stay still, the artillery can actually damage you quite badly. And now we have uh, a jester from, uh, from Kiber King. Uh, very well placed, killing get rid of the artillery that was uh, giving him trouble because if he can stay still, he can trick lane. And the Jester is moving uh, in Montana's base now that the one anti air was forced. And they skilling engineers. So this Jester is uh, doing quite well. 13 kills. Now we have one anti out. That is probably gonna kill it. 14 kills and now we see that you see you on this side we also have the same we have artillery that is taking quite a toll on the point of a Yuaska that doesn't have enough troops with him and uh, here we have uh, Kibaki that will uh, keep pushing slightly more hit point than uh, Montana and uh, yeah this is seems worrying I mean uh, Still the SU going forward, just streaming in units that are dying. And uh, here we actually have uh, Montana uh, going quite low at 4000 points, standing still. So on the top uh, looks like uh, Kiber has an advantage in terms of hit point, but the troops are swinging in. And now Kiber has to send some units to help uh, his team uh, that uh, was quite low. And so he has to give uh, some ground. Now there are some artillery on him. He moves just enough. Okay. He keeps going. Eco wise, um, team choose slightly more mass income and mass in general. They already have uh, quite some difference. And uh, team choose, especially in terms of reclaim. And they have more yeah so probably because this guy was able to take all this mass which is huge okay here they see you still pushing the stream flow of mantis is uh, going and now we change side and we have uh, montana with a couple of jester taking care, uh, try to take care of the ACU that uh, doesn't have any air support whatsoever so it's forced to push uh, anti-air and uh, with the help of the Mantis 
it point dropping at uh, 2800 but now the, the anti-air are enough and there are some bombers also going uh, trying to do something but uh, it seems that air is uh, won from the bottom side I mean uh, Ayahuasca is pushing uh, so many entities now this is you uh, it's two star veterans so he's returning quite good while uh, this is you uh, still yet to take his first vet and he's going dropping down quite quickly still star hundred by mantis 1300 1900 oh just get the veterans you now so that veterans was uh really good and say that sadly is over so it feels like he is dying in uh, 1000 point you still have all these units close to you three mantis to support 600 oh one just got demolished as soon as arrives on the battlefield 200 point 300 it's still still okay <laughs> so He saved and uh, with no help from his teammates that uh, he decided to go attack two is build a point defense. So um, this side is going good. And now we still have Mantis on him. 400 points. But probably they are not enough. Now uh, 500 is still regenerating now that is the first vet. It looks like that finally his teammate is helping a bit. Yeah, there are some units that are just taking damage from the PD, so these units can move to support him. And uh, Kiber King decided to go for a gun, taking advantage of the situation. And uh, while his uh, SU is jamming, he can uh, then move forward and do a lot of damage with his gun. Since it uh, looks like that uh, Montana doesn't have the QPD. Because the first thing that you want to build when a gun SU is approaching you are tech GPDs. But if the gun SU is too close to you, you may not have time. You can switch to tech one PDs instead. But they will just give you some breathing space, not much. So Montana is asking for assistance and the Lazy Avena decided to give his unit. So Montana is still uh at 2000 point, he needs a vet that uh, he won't uh, get. And now we have uh, lots of troops uh, going for uh, King ACU, where there were some chests that have just been destroyed. We have a drop here, but I don't know why he stopped here instead of going here. But let's check this ACU 9000 point, 8000. Still a lot of troops, but they're coming uh, spread. And uh, he has a bunch of units here, he still have a PD, one anti air turret, so he's quite safe. And Montana definitely not happy about uh, what just happened. Now we have these units that are going to uh, kill him, unfortunately this one was the only tech one <laughs> that was uh, remaining. And uh, now Kiberkin has to go for stealth. At the same time here, uh, the position is slightly more defended with uh, a, an exposed uh, Tachu Pigeon. So this Tachu Maxis will go down by Mantis. And these troops are just sent in uh, dying. I mean, the ACU is killing them quite fast. So now Montana again with no units, this drop uh, start doing some damage, I mean, another touch might go down, he has to respond fast. So he has uh, his trouble to deal with, and a uh, large amount of unit here, the ACU is going forward, this other ACU is going to meet him. It looks like uh, the other maxis are saved. So good for him. And now we have uh, Lazy Avena trapped her in a bad situation with a gun SU. We push PD. There are lots of PDs here. There are other two PDs here that you can fall back to. 
a bunch of engineers that are dying trying to be a PD. This is point that are shedding solo, surrounded by mantis. And uh, the stun of the Medusa also blocked the activity of the point defenses. Now he's a uh, 6000 point. He has this first bat. He's almost got the second bat. But uh, that unit got killed by something else. And so he's dropping down very fast. 3000, 2600. But the ACU here is trapped uh, in uh, between PDs. So. So this is you uh, uh, is dead, but the other is you went with him. Oh, even if it wasn't, there was enough PD here to kill the other is you. So now we have Ayahuasca versus Montana, which is probably for Stormy. No, it's, uh, it just doesn't have enough eco or whatever because everything was killed. Uh, by his friends and <laughs> popping you can win now <laughs> the sacrifice of the 1600 uh, ah no sorry there is only ayahuasca here not uh, kyber king and uh, we will see if the rating defense uh, it's actually important in this in this game uh, so we start seeing uh, harassment on this base of course that First thing you wanna try to do in a game like this when your opponent dies in field of ice is take his max and uh, and also here there is quite some mess to be reclaimed so this will really boost your eco so this is fundamental to try to recover uh, from the death of your opponent and uh, scavenging all this uh, thing that he has so we start seeing some texture units some rhinos sent on alone versus uh, all the strikers and uh, Montana actually now is going a little bit uh, forward he wants to reclaim this amount of mass here look at this this is a huge field of mass that uh, he can easily take lots of engineers uh, reclaiming so he's actually in need for power while well, Ayahuasca he doesn't have enough build capacity at this point when you're in this situation you want to increase your build capacity in order to spend all this mass because uh, yes you can spend this mass in upgrading other maxes but then if you don't have units that's won't, uh, that won't help you very much and um, Montana is still not ratified this power problem and he's also building a shield gen here that he decided to not finish decide to move first to a pigeon good choice so he will do eco and not attack okay so here we have one gesture that has been denied the drop has been denied so ayahuasca managed to take the majority of uh, the mass here uh, and eco wise uh, ayahuasca is way more than uh, montana montana still has to take this max He's defending uh, with flak uh, and uh, he's also defended with two tech point uh, defense just to make sure and he's still lagging behind on power see that uh, he doesn't have enough and ayahuasca is still good on power and he's spending a lot of uh, he has some gunship per building seven gunships that you rather here quite helpful to see what uh, your opponent is doing now we start seeing some troops uh, coming on this side we have a uh, flag some tech one unit and here we have uh, three tech two maxis that are quite juicy here engineers uh, are rebuilding some of the other maxis there's still one here that is left uh, alone some mass here to be taken and yeah, well here everything is uh, start to be cleaned up slowly. Well here we still have a couple of maxes that will be taken. So Eco Montana still struggling a bit for power, but not too much. While Ayahuasca is struggling for mass. Uh, 
and here we have some units that are trying to do something but there is one point the fence here still standing now these gunships are moving I'm going towards you touch your flag hopefully not now they're going for the iron but Montana has a lot of air uh, not a lot but still since uh, Ayahuasca decide to go for gunship, he didn't have uh, the power to do those so in this. So now Montana had, uh, has catch up a bit. Okay, now we are kind of in a stalemate uh, eco mode. <laughs> so let's go speed it up a bit. Montana chilling here. Still this max not taken. This is just sad. And here we have a few rhinos. Protein trying to do some damage. Protected by hair seems like. So this rhino now are moving towards this uh, texture max looks like. Yeah. Yeah, there was still one engineer dead, I don't know, some, maybe something happened here, it doesn't look like. Here there are some, uh, ah, probably there was a Tech 3 bomber or something, because uh, we have Tech 3 air now for, sorry guys, the computer missed this, <laughs> so we have Tech 3 air from uh, Ayahuasca. While uh, I don't see much teching on the hair side, and this Mexi will probably be taken out by a bomber or something. So eco wise now Ayahuasca still on the lead as 20, well now it's jumping on that straight lane for sure. And now we have uh, the rhinos that were taken out by some gunship um, and now this mantis are uh, going on the texture maxis. This gunship are quite slow to react. Oh, they managed to save it but now here there are a couple of flags so it can't really attack with the gunship. Actually, three flex, four flex. There are more flex than uh, <laughs> than anything, so you can't really do much. And this texture max is go down, equalizing a bit the mess uh, situation. And um, so, tech deep region, tech three air going up, uh, still spamming gunship. And now we see the first unit coming out for the tech three factory is, is a tech three anti air. <laughs> And uh, he knows that uh, his opponent has only air to defend. I mean, look at how much he's exposed. And there also is a brick. So this brick is going to be hard to take out. And the ASF flying over. Now we also have a broadsword that has a lot of hit points. It's taking out some flex. But uh, this gunship has not been used. I mean, he could have probably killed everything before uh, this damage was done. And uh, finally, we have a tactic factory uh, spamming uh, Percival's. Oh, no, bricks, sorry, because we have. Uh, there was one. Oh, I don't understand. A brick. So Montana has bricks, uh, and uh, his mate uh, has brick too. I mean, he's UF, but he's within bricks. Okay. So we have some. both Percival and bricks. <laughs> nice. Probably managed to take one engineer from his fan. So he managed to defend the first assault, but his eco took a hit, as you can see. And now we have uh, the man killer that has, was built uh, as soon as possible by Montana. And there's no answer to that. This uh, Brick and Percival will die. We have three Tech 3 and Tire. And uh, Easy CU is here, quite exposed. We won't be able to do much versus the Makilo. There is one Tech 3 PD here. We have uh, some Percival Brick. There is one other Tech 3 PD here. And this going for the Overcharge. And we managed to eat one. And uh, now it's gone. But we still have uh, Bricks in the base. It's never good to see Bricks in the base. And uh, well. The stack three region are down, stack three R is down, and this coin GG. I hope you like this game. 
and uh, see you the next time. Let's switch to the explosion. Boom. <laughs> okay. Ciao, ciao.